When you have successfully uploaded your EEG file to the QEEG Pro Report service, the raw EEG will be automatically de-artifacted using our standardized artifact rejection algorithm, or SARA. Within five minutes, you will be able to download your de-artifacted EEG in a .edf format and a report in a PDF format. This PDF shows you your raw EEG as in this example. SARA distinguishes four artifact criteria, high blinks, high movements, low frequency artifacts, and high frequency artifacts. The red lines in the bottom of the screen represent the presence or absence of artifacts in these categories. In the current example, the red horizontal bar represents the detection of an eye blink in this case. The EEG of all channels that fall within the duration of that red bar is removed from the raw data. In the next example, Sarah has detected and rejected a high frequency artifact caused by muscle tension in this case. Often, the raw EEG will contain one or two channels that show high frequency artifacts almost constantly during the recording. Instead of rejecting most of the EEG, Sarah recognizes these channels and marks them in red in the report. These channels will not be de-artifacted for high frequency artifacts. The next example shows a segment of EEG that contains both eye blinks, eye movements and high frequency artifacts present in different channels. Here a low frequency artifact is detected at FZ. Sarah has a sophisticated algorithm to prevent the generation of artifacts as a result of removing segments of EEG data. These artifacts are also known as splicing artifacts. Sarah uses an algorithm similar to the zero crossing method in order to make sure the EEG preceding the artifact and the EEG following the artifact are joined together as seamlessly as possible. The QEG Pro report includes a summary of the Sarah results, which show if there were any noisy channels, the percentage of data that was rejected, the original duration of the recording, and the duration of the recording after segments containing artifacts were removed. Finally, Sarah also implements an epileptiform episode detector, which detects large epileptiform episodes and is represented by blue bars in the bottom of the Sarah report. When such an event is detected, the SARA summary page in the QEG Pro report will show a warning stating that very large artifacts were detected which were possibly generated by epileptiform episodes. The number of episodes is shown as well as the time of detection in the original recording and the duration of these episodes. It's advised to review the original recording and or consult a certified neurologist 